I've been playing Kendama for a little over two years. Uh, when I first started, I honestly thought this was a really um, immature thing to play with. My little brother, who was 12 at the time, was playing with one. He used to play with yo-yos, all kinds of stuff, and I thought they were boring. Until his friend brought one and gave it to me. I didn't know what to do with it. First thing I did was just try to do that and swing it. And I didn't know how, it, how cool it really was. Until I decided to watch videos on you know, YouTube, Instagram, they were on the news a couple of times, and I realized, okay, there's a, there's a lot more to it. This game makes me sweat. I play till I'm sweating. It's really tough. It works out your legs, works out your arms, and most of all, works out your brain. After two years of playing, I made two sponsorships. I currently work at a kiosk selling them, and a lot of kids, they always ask me to sign their kendamas. I became slightly well-known here in San Diego. Personally, I do kendama to influence others who have never seen it, who have heard of it but never thought of playing with it. I play kendama to stimulate my mind, to relieve stress, get things out of my head for the day. I play it, I collect them. I collect them mainly for exotic woods. We make them out of exotic woods, we stain them, paint jobs, durability, and age. Age is one of the most popular things with adult kendama players. That's where, that's where the love and the experience really comes from, is when you get one with 200 years old and it means a lot to you and you just jam it. Kendama to me is a, an expression of one's self-esteem. Some people when they first see it it's like you know what is this toy like what do you do with it why why is it so addicting and to be honest it's there's a whole nother level of stimulation mental stimulation to this game and it helps boost self-determination. When you set goals for yourself with this game and you reach those goals, it makes you feel a lot better about yourself. It also lets you, uh, lets you bring yourself closer to communities. We have a community here in San Diego with over 6,500 people. We play, we jam, we call it jamming. We have sessions, we introduce new people to it. Even parents, they even, you know, join us and have fun. And it's just a way to connect with others in a positive way and spread the love.